yesterday when I talked at Zen Center, I was like telling you, uh, uh, because I'm in front of an audience of Zennies, I was telling them how much I hate Zen, which is true. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Um, but I still do it all the time uh, because nothing else works. Uh, and, and I have to go with what works, yeah, ultimately. Um, and, this, and this works. It doesn't get you, um, it doesn't get you to the kind of place that sort of people will push as being the ultimate, you know, thing, you know, this sort of beautiful bliss state. But what I kind of, fa but it, it'll, it'll carry you through those states. And um, when I've been in doing the Zazen practice and, and encountered that kind of stuff and been like, oh my god, this is what it's all about, I'll get like slapped down <laughs> by my teacher. Um, which which hurts a bit, but it's actually a good thing because that, that bliss state is just one, it, it's a, um, it's when you turn off everything else that's going on and focus on bliss, you're going, oh wow, bliss. But the problem is, you, you don't, you're not really t turning off everything else. Everything else is still going on. You're just like focused on this one thing. And that's, and that's an inst unstable position to be in. Uh, and eventually it's going to fall apart. Um, and when it falls apart, it's, it's actually a little worse than not having had it at all. Because it's, you know, it's like a high. You, know, you get high on something and there's a come down. Um, and our practice is to not get high on anything, um, and in so doing, find that everything that, that we encounter has a kind of depth and beauty to it that we usually miss. <laughs>